Uh, so, funny story. Benny from Nomad Effect. Sophia from Nomad Effect over here, working somewhere. We, uh, we've just been filming a video for you guys about putting some soundproofing into the back of the car in our new little uh, tent out the back where the car is and it's very humid and yes, uh, I even mentioned the fact that we put up a couple of Tacoma videos but I know what you guys really want is uh, Land Cruiser content so that's what we're trying to do but I shot the whole thing in slow motion so I'm going to show you some clips right now of what we just did right here so here what you're seeing is uh, Sophia and I removing the screws on the back of the back seat in order to take out the uh, rear section of the carpet. And with the rear section of the carpet comes the rubber underlay. Uh, this was a bit of a race and we were having a bit of fun and trying to make it kind of interesting. We then move on to taking out the back seats. The actual uh, back part of the seat and the uh, seat part of the seat actually come out separately. And then we took those inside and uh, we're actually storing our seeds in the house. Once all those bolts are undone and the seats are removed, there's nothing holding the carpet down. So we, it's just literally a matter of picking it up and taking it out of the car. We then moved on to the front seats. I grabbed the rattle gun to take those off. And you can see here on the right hand side of the seat brackets, there's a ton of rust. Um, this is an issue for us because even with the seats that we've bought to put in here, we still need to retain the existing seat brackets. So we're doing our best to uh, just clean the rust off of those and they come out pretty easily. If you guys remember back to at the start of the uh, video where we moved the Land Cruiser to our new house, uh, the first step of that was actually putting this driver's seat in. So it was kind of a little bit of a going backwards to go forwards to be taking this one back out again, but whatever. Once those front seats are out, the front section of the carpet really just pulls back easily. We've had some uh, water get underneath the carpet when the, um, the front cowl of the car was leaking. So the underlay was a little bit stuck to the, the, the bottom of the car, but <clears throat> other than that, it just peeled back fine. Mm -hmm. Here you see Soph trying to work out how to remove the center console because we've realized that the sound deadening needs to go under it. And that should bring you up to the point where I realized I've been recording the whole thing in slow motion. And where we're basically up to, we are in the process of trying to work out how to remove the little uh, center console here because we are going to take up all this old um, soundproofing and we're going to put down some uh, 80 mil kill mat. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the dilemma we have for today. I'm hoping uh, that I can maybe talk over some of this slow motion and then make a video out of this. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue on from here. Pretty funny. So I'm now like dripping with sweat in our little greenhouse. But we, we had to take some um, screws out that were in inside here. And then one screw that was inside here. So this, this thing looks like it's coming, it's coming out now. So it's definitely connected somehow to this. Oh, there we go. And this can go in the house. Wow. Always wondered what this thing looked like. I don't think it works. So this is the fan blower for the back seats. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what's holding it in right now. But there's like this thing here. Oh no, there's something connected. that comes underneath it. It's connected here too. Yeah, it's also connected underneath the car. Okay. Like, uh, all right, we have to get under the car. So I just uh, came from underneath the car. We were trying to take the, the rear um, heater out. And I'm um, scooting it. It'll be like, got a bit of coolant in my eyeball <laughs> and my mouth. Oh, it tastes like mint. So yeah, I got a bit of coolant on me. So this is, uh, this is obviously uses the, the, the heating system to heat the rear uh, seats of the car. And these tubes were poking under the car, which I thought, oh, cool, I'll just loosen them up and I'll get them out. And both the pipes broke off inside these tubes here. And I uh, was trying to like do it. And this actual pipe is so, I've got so much coolant in my eyes. Ugh. And uh, these, I was trying to undo these pipes here and they've got holes like all through them. They're just riddled with rust. So I'm wondering like if this is actually part of the cooling system, I'm not exactly sure how the heating system works in this, but if there is actual coolant pumping through here, then it's been leaking out underneath the car. 
which would explain like why we have some overheating issues on the car. So we have a new radiator and stuff to put in, but I'm going to have to replace all these pipes. I'm not sure whether I can buy them or whether I just need to uh, buy some pipe and bend it up. But at least, uh, at least I know why the rear heat the seat heater wasn't working. But as always, you start doing one thing and you end up doing something completely different, different. And now I've got another problem to fix. So there we go. Okay. So I really wasn't trying to do that today. That was, uh, the plan was not to go into the car today. Uh, that's why I put this shirt on, which is a little bit nicer than some of the other shirts I have. But as it always goes, you always end up some, doing something on the car that you didn't really expect. So we just got to roll with it. And uh, it looks like I've got to replace a lot of the, the heating system under the car because it's all really rusted. Uh, like the brake lines, um, which is I've already replaced the brake lines. So continuing on with what we were doing, we should just try and take this front carpet out. So I guess we launch straight into that right now and uh, we'll take you along for the ride. I was just saying to Soph, I feel like uh, with this white heavenly light coming around us right now, it feels like we're in kind of some sort of Land Cruiser heaven, but she doesn't really feel like she's in Land Cruiser heaven today. No. There's a lot of rust in here. Okay, so... My side of the, the car right now is pretty, pretty unjunked up. So I should be able to just start peeling this carpet back. Um, okay. And yeah, as I mentioned before, we've had a, we've had a lot of water damage. So the underlay underlay has been stuck to the, uh, the car. So it would be really nice if we could get some of this that's new for the front, um, to move forward with, but. I'm not sure how much it costs or how available it is or where we can get it. If anyone knows, maybe you guys can comment below because I haven't seen it. Uh, but I'm sure someone like Cruiser Core or someone has it. So anyway. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So you just take that out? Yeah, well, you can just take that out. No, you can just take it out. No, you can just take it out. Just ladies first. So we've been um, working on the house. We bought these chisels to help pick up some of the drywall off the walls. And uh, to remove this existing sort of soundproofing stuff or like whatever you call it, it's actually working pretty well. Like it's not damaging the car too much. And I feel like with, um, if I have like a, a wire wheel and a grinder or something like that, once I've done this, I should be able to get the rest of it off pretty easily. So I'm just gonna jump into tap, tap, tapping and trying to get this out. And I'll uh, let you show you guys what it looks like when we're done. So, so if and I clearly have a little bit of job on our hands, so uh, we're going to continue to do this and we will catch up with you guys next week. And hopefully all this stuff is done so that we can move on to the next step of uh, working out how to patch that hole where I access the fuel tank and actually getting this soundproofing down. So uh, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see what happens next, because uh, I just think it's kind of boring for you guys to sit here and watch us hammer away at some factory soundproofing. So I will catch you guys next week. Benny out and bye. <laughs> uh, she's thrilled. All right. Catch you guys next week. Bye.